Hi guys, uh, VA3 JJW Justin here. And um, on one of my other videos on APRS, someone was asking if you could run APRS on a cheap bullet fang uh, type radio, and you can. Um, this setup probably costs, uh, well, it still probably costs about $200 Canadian. Um, but uh, you might be able to find stuff cheaper, obviously. So um, the first part of this I have is a blue branded cell phone, Android cell phone. Uh, I got it on Amazon for like 50 bucks Canadian. Um, it's kind of a really crappy phone, but it does the job. Um, and as of when I was setting this stuff up, it had to be an Android. I'm not sure if that's changed. I'll link the description for the Mobi linked TNC in the description. Uh, Boafang UV5R, pretty standard. Everyone I think knows them. They're cheap, they're like 50, 60 bucks Canadian, maybe a little cheaper in some places. They work fine, they're a little quirky with certain things, um, and APRS is one of them. Some work better than others, this one works okay. Um, and then the uh, Mobi linked TNC2, um, and a, obviously a cable to connect, which I bought at the same time. I think this was um, around 100 dollars maybe 120 dollars um shipped to canada at the time when i bought it which was a few years ago but uh, don't quote me on that i could be wrong check the link in the description okay so the first thing we're going to do um to set it up is we will turn on the tnc2 you'll see it's flashing quickly that means it's not paired we'll power up the um Android phone. So we have two apps: the mobile, or the sorry, the MobiLink TNC configuration tool and the app stride. So we'll go to MobiLink first, and we'll connect. And it says it's unable to connect. Um, and the reason for that, because app stride is still running. That's um, one thing about this is um, sometimes when you're playing around, it doesn't work out quite the way you want it to. Okay, so now, so TNC is flashing fast, that's so not paired. Um, we'll go into the configuration tool first. Not connected, we connect. Pick our TNC, connecting. Connected, um, and now you also see the lights a slow blue flash. So when we go through these, um, all kinds of settings, output settings, I've never changed any of these. The input settings is important. You have to adjust the audio level. So when we turn the bow fan on, okay, so it's on the APRS channel, and the squelch needs to be open. So you can see it there at zero, and we will turn the volume up until we get consistent yellow bars and the flickering of the first red one. So, something like that. And we can close, and you can adjust other things, power settings, it'll show you how much battery life is left, which the battery life in this is awesome. I've never, I don't think I've ever had it die. Um, you can adjust the kiss parameters um, and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect. And then we're going to go into APRS Droid. Now I'm just going to clear this log. Um, sorry. Clear log. Okay. And we're going to start tracking. So we're using the smart beaconing, slow flash, <clears throat> and if we go to here, we can see that um, we've transmitted. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot about settings, but if you go in here, you go preferences, you put in your call sign, your SSID, which just want to set to seven, your digipath, 
Uh, if you have symbols, any comments, you can adjust how you want it to transmit, how often, things like that. We're not going to get into that here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do to prove that it works, I guess, if you need that, is uh, we'll turn this boa fang on. Turn the APRS channel. And then when we hit send position on here, you'll see this boa fang transmitted and it came across it. So we know we are sending, we are sending packets. Now some, there's been some talk online, um, that maybe the UV5R isn't um, able to, uh, is not that effective at transmitting packets. But um, I guess we'll find it. And now I do know um, that right where I am now, especially inside, but even if I went outside, I would not be able to hit an eye gate with the Boa Fang, the way it's set up. Maybe if I connected to the external antenna on my truck, Maybe I could do it, but not how it's set up now. So um, I'm not going to be able to transmit to an I gate and get on um, something like uh, APRS.FI. So what I'm waiting for here is uh, my truck to show up as a herd station. Okay, guys. So you'll see here. Um, I had to go back out and turn the radio on in my truck at a timed out. So my truck's parked outside and it is uh, call sign VA3JJW, no SSID. So we've heard my truck transmitting. So now that's on here, um, we can see it in our list of stations. We could um, bring it up on the map now. This phone isn't connected to the internet in any way. Um, it's just charging right now. So you can, um, I believe you can set up offline maps. Uh, but I have it on this device. So if we hold this, we're going to send a message to my truck. So we're going to say, let's go switch hands, sorry about the shakiness, uh, test today. And we're going to send that. Okay, so now when I exit here and go back to messages, we should see it there. Now, for some reason, and I don't know why, I'm assuming because it's the same call sign, um, I sent the message to VA3JJW, but I also received the message as VA3JJW-7. Uh, I would have thought that because of the SSID that wouldn't happen, but it does. It's not really a big deal. It'll still work. So I'm going to go out to my truck, I'll show you the message out there, and I'll reply. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm out at my truck here and you'll see I'm running APRS and I have a message. So I go to messages. It's from VA3JJW-7. Select that. Test today. So I'm going to go reply. And I'm just going to say received. And we're going to click send, send, and it's away. Okay, we'll go back in the house and we got an acknowledgement from VA3JJW that received it. Okay, I'll see you back inside. Okay, so we're back inside. Um, let's have a look here. So, You can see a few different things here. You can see us sending the message test today. You can see an acknowledgement. <clears throat> I think that's from my truck. Um, a beacon from my truck. And then my truck sending the received message. And then the acknowledgement back. If we go to messages, you'll see from VA3JJW. Uh, the message is received. So, there you go guys, it does work. I have had luck with the Bullfang uh, and APRS with this particular setup. Um, sometimes I use my tablet instead of this cheap phone, it works a bit better. But um, obviously it has limitations, you have to be uh, within range of hitting the eye gate to really be useful. 
um, for most things, um, which I just can't do it from here. Um, but it does work back and forth. I could, uh, the Kenwood D710 does DigiPeat, so I could set that all up. It would act as a digital repeater for me, but um, I don't really have a need. But this setup, again, I think was about 200 Canadian, um, so pretty cheap, um, and you can do APRs on it. Okay guys, thank you very much. Sorry about the shakiness for the video. Um, just another quick one. Um, if you have anything else you want to see, kind of related to APRS or maybe WinLink on VHF, uh, let me know. Like and subscribe, please. Have a good day, 73.